my Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask you for pardon for my sins and for the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me. Jesus, we come seeking you today, just like Our Lady does in the Gospel. The Gospel today from Saint Matthew speaks of Mary and Jesus' family, he uses the word brothers, but we know that means um, cousins and relatives. Um, they come looking for you, they come seeking you, they come to, to look for your attention, or maybe they have something to tell you. And in many ways, that's why we come to you to pray today. We come with things on our heart. You know, why did we press play on this meditation? Jesus, let's decide today. I don't want this to be just, that's what I do. It's the morning time or it's the evening time. That's just what I do today. No, I do it because I come seeking you. I seek you, Jesus. And maybe there's something on my heart that I want to tell you about. Maybe there's something I, I feel the need for you to be involved in in my life. So just hold that thing in prayer. If that's you, then Jesus is listening to us right now. Jesus, we trust that. We believe that. And yet the response you give to our mother Mary, to your family, is kind of unexpected. You know, maybe when they get there, the, the room is full or they see that there's other people in the way. Um, that can be a surprise sometimes when, you know, someone we love maybe is so needed by others, maybe in their work or because their heart is so big um, or just the way they live their life means that, you know, sometimes we want them all to ourselves and, and their heart is so big and we get annoyed by it. <laughs> Well, Jesus, thank you for those people that we come across in our lives. You know, thank you that sometimes we have to be the ones to uh, to wait, to wait our turn, as it were. But but if there is someone in our life who does that, you know, maybe a loved one, a friend, a brother, sister, mother, father, or a spouse, maybe, who has a lot of time for others for mm, reasons of their work or just their their gifts, their giftedness. Even if we get a little bit disappointed when they're maybe asked to look after someone else or they have other things to do. Or... It's true as well, Lord, that, that we know when they have the time, they'll, they'll turn back to us and, and they'll be able to rest with us. You know, I wonder if, that, I wonder if that's making sense. But Jesus, I'm, I guess what I'm saying is, Mary would never have doubted your love. You, you respond to her and say, well, who, who is my mother and my brothers? It's, it's you in front of me. You know, I'm not going to end this conversation because they want to speak to me. It's, I'm here right now. This is what the Father wants me to be doing. And sometimes, if, I guess, if we feel frozen out a little bit because someone we love very much, or we want their attention, or we want their time, or is currently with somebody else, well, that doesn't mean... They don't love us. <laughs> we know that. In our head we know that, but sometimes in our heart it can feel like we've been forgotten, maybe in that moment. And so we, uh, we just thank you, Jesus, that, you know, in this gospel, you show your heart is so big that, that you're present to the person in front of you. You're present to the person in front of you. How difficult that is for us to do. You know, someone's speaking to us and maybe the conversation is going on a long time or and we flick up our phone and, and check texts instead while the person's talking. That's not being present. <laughs> That's not being present to the person in front of me. That's being present to myself, to what I'd rather be doing. So, Jesus, you teach us a, a new way in this gospel of of being present to the person in front of me and knowing that that person is where I need to be right now. You know, okay, eventually that conversation needs to come to an end, and uh, if it's going on too long, we need to find ways of, of ending it. We know this, but the, the purpose of the gospel maybe is to say, how, how aware am I that in conversation with someone or doing something, this is where I'm needed right now? Isn't that the, the genius of what was passed on to St. Maria? by the Lord on that day in 1928 when 
you know he he noticed everything that had been leading up to that point where where everything in our daily life can become a way of glorifying you jesus if if we're present to it you know if i'm constantly checking my phone while studying or you know i do i do something haphazardly because i can't be bothered or uh, i just leave it to tomorrow or these things show that i'm not present to that thing but to be present to a job to a person to a conversation to a sacrifice is a way of showing love great love so thank you jesus for inviting us into that insight through the way you react today in the gospel no 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 way was it a an offense towards your mother and your brothers who are asking for your attention it was to, it was to say yeah great but this conversation right now is where i'm needed but also you say something else so so they're searching for you and the person who comes to tell you that uh, you say well these are my mother and my brothers whoever does the will of my father in heaven is my mother my brother my sister so the will of the father that's the key for us the will of god and so you're saying those who are, are close to me are those who are living out the will of god earlier in, in chapter 7 of matthew's gospel jesus says it is not those who say lord lord who enter the kingdom of heaven but those who do the will of my father in heaven jesus this is the same gospel in a sense it's the same gospel but lived out so here we have in a sense um your mother and your brothers saying lord lord <laughs> we need your attention and i'm sure it was something very important your know, family life uh, sometimes there are emergencies where we need the attention of the other person but in a sense they were saying lord lord and he says don't just say lord lord it's those who do the will of my father in heaven so this can be a a, a thing for our prayer today how well do i respond to god's will how keen am i to be doing god's will to be asking god what his will is for my life maybe in some grand way maybe say you know what is what is your plan for my life lord maybe in some small way lord how can i reach out to that friend that i have who's going through a hard time what's your will there what's your will um for um, my summer holiday maybe you know maybe there's a summer holiday stretching out outside of term time or or outside of work time the regular work schedule you know what's your will for that time lord how, how do you want me to spend that time you know and generally the lord doesn't say okay on monday i want you to do this on tuesday this on wednesday you can have a rest no the lord has filled us with gifts gifts of uh, reason gifts of will gifts of memory gifts of imagination free will that mean it's to become friends with god's will god has a plan for my life and part of that plan is that i use all those gifts he's given me to join my will to his and so i'm just thinking jesus what image could we use for this and the image that came to my mind was when you're going um it, through an airport between terminals i love those travelators that, that occur in some parts of the airport usually in bigger airports and you get on and you know the the, the same step that you would have taken on the normal floor is like a super step <laughs> you become a kind of superman superwoman on this travelator making huge progress without very little effort i just wonder if that's a way we can we can pray into your will for me lord that you know struggling on and and pushing through um and, and walking of of my own strength to use that image i'm getting to the same destination but just harder and slower and and making less progress and then i say wow lord what is your will for me and as soon as i join that will i go the same direction but i speed up it just becomes easier everything becomes easier because i'm now living inside the plan god has for me so brother sister i wonder how much of your prayer is about desiring the will of god yeah you know, one thing is to say jesus what do you want for my life another thing is to say jesus i desire whatever you want for my life I desire it already i don't know what it is but I, I desire it because because you've willed it for me so mother mother mary you were you're standing outside that that tent maybe or that room and and waiting you are the one who did the will of god perfectly you are the one who 
who may, prog- who may progress to heaven in the most perfect way, the, the, the fastest way, hand in hand with the Lord's will, always desiring to do what he asked, even when that meant going through the cross, even when that meant a time of trial. God's will was often mysterious to you, but you desired it, you wanted it all the time. Help us to do the same. Help us to to know that our prayer, our, our, our reaching out to the Lord, 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 you know, that prayer we make, Lord, Lord, that's only, uh, that only becomes fruitful when we, when we desire his will too. So mother, teach us this great plan for our life that the Lord has in his hands for us. I give you thanks, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations you have communicated to me in this meditation. I ask you for help to put them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, St. Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.